Hey guys, welcome back to Technique Tuesday. Today we talk about the low plank versus the high plank. So the high plank is a great place to start until you get better shoulder stability. With that, we tend to find, tend to find athletes who are sagging in their plank. So you want to lift up out of those shoulders and drop down your back, while also corkscrewing those elephants forward to have a good stable shoulder. We also want to make sure the rest of our body is active, so rather than just hanging out, my quads should be firing, I should be pushing back into my heels to engage my calves, and my belly button and ribs should be pulled down and in, so that my whole body is firing. Once I am able to keep that stable, then I'll move to a low plank. A lot of times athletes let their elbows flare out to the side, getting into their neck and upper traps. Instead of keeping them a little bit more in, still drawing the shoulders back and active, neck should be relaxed, and still engaging through the quads and the glutes, total body as we keep a good midline stabilization instead of dipping those hips too low. 